In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database in FileMaker Pro and how you set the data types for the fields. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you what I'm going to make a database of. Um, I want to collect um, a load of recipes, so for example, sticky toffee pudding, and how to make sticky toffee pudding, and I have my own little database that I can use offline of my favorite recipes so I don't have to go searching through BBC Food in the future, um, just the ones I want. Um, so I drew up a plan. Um, I planned out what fields I needed. So I wanted the name of the recipe, the type it is. So is it a main course, a dessert, or so on? Uh, how many people it serves? What ingredients? Instructions? Photo of what it looks like, um, and the date that I've added it to my database. And I've got here the database, uh, the data types for each of these fields. So text, number, date, and container are the ones that I'm going to be using. So I've got my plan. I'm just going to put that to one side. And then I'm going to go to my database program, which is FileMaker Pro. So I've clicked on Create a Database, and I'm going to create an empty database. I click OK. And the very first thing I do is save my database. And the reason we save it is because we don't want to risk losing any data. So if you save it at the beginning, what FileMaker Pro does is every time you make a change, it saves it. Um, and that way, as you add more records, if it suddenly crashes, you haven't lost what you've already put in. Uh, so it just gives you that little bit of extra security. So the first thing I do is give it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, example uh, example recipes and hit save and straight away FileMaker Pro 9 has taken me into um, this manage database layout and I can start selecting my fields so I need to choose the name so the first one I'm going to go for is uh, recipe and then I choose what type it is so the recipe is text so I click create next job is what type it is and again it's text so I can create next one is how many it serves now that's a number um, so again I change my data type to number hit create and I work my way through um, each of these uh, so that's ingredients and that will be text I'm just gonna whiz through this now date added I could put a space in here and um, if I spell it right and that would be okay in FileMaker uh, but some of the databases are a bit fussy I think it's always good practice um, to use no spaces in your naming so I've used a capital A um, just to make it easy to separate the two words it's what we call camel type so that's date added and let's change it to date and let's hit create and I need a space uh, for the photo so photo and this one is a container so that it contain any file so this could be pictures or it could be um, sounds or movies or even word documents you could put anything into a container uh, field so let's create that last one so my fields are now created I've set the data types I click OK and it creates a layout for me so I'm ready now to start putting in my details uh, but if I'm not happy with how it looks um, you know I think these boxes are the wrong size I can always go to what we view layout mode and I can change the size of these boxes um, so I don't need quite that much space what type of recipe uh, how many it serves is only going to be a couple of uh, numbers so that will do there now ingredients needs to be much bigger so it can have lots of ingredients so I'm going to start to just move these around and make a better layout so let's just select those put the date added up there um, um, and I can start to move these around so let's put that um, over there instructions let's move that down There's space for my instructions and space for my ingredients and I might find that these still aren't the right size um, in a while but I can increase the space of my body um, let's just drag the layout down I can drag the body down that would give me more space and so I could make these um, even longer I'm not going to dwell on this for now um, you'll be able to play with that yourself and when you finish you just go to view browse mode 
Now I said before it automatically saves, it only automatically saves when we're adding data. Changes like to layout, you can tell it to save automatically when you've finished, um, but I, I'm quite happy with it checking with me just in case I've made a pig zero of things and I don't actually want to save what I've done. But I do this time, so I'm going to click save. So there's my layout. I've got space for my first record, so I can put in my first recipe, uh, which I might just uh, quickly copy and paste. So this is sticky toffee pudding. Let's go into my database. And you can see I can start. Um, so that is a dessert. Uh, and how many does it serve, that one? It serves four. Mm. Sticky toffee pudding. Uh, and so on. And when I've filled all this in, um, let's just stick the picture in just to show you how that works. I should just be able to drop it in. So to make a new record, because I've got a second recipe, click new record and I get my second record. And then we can move between the two over here. And that's it. A very simple database. It's not perfect. I could certainly improve my data entry form and improve the layout and the look of this, but it's enough to get us going to start with.